besides the uh, nasturtium here in the old chicken coop, we also put bell pepper right there. This is the red bell pepper. So I'm trying it out, making sure, making sure everything's okay. I know there's a lot of uh, chicken manure in here, but uh, if it's way too strong, they're gonna get burned. So, trying to watch it and make sure it's gonna be okay. But we're gonna put more right here. And uh, yeah, so slowly but surely, I put a little bit of cover right there. Not necessarily that we need it, but, just to make it look a little bit raggedy but anyway yep we got bell pepper right here that's the red one so it can't wait we'll see we put a little bit of chicken manure also there that's been in here for a while and hopefully it's not gonna burn the Peter's honey fig tree cutting that I got on uh, eBay it's already growing roots look so I'm doing the um, wet paper towel method so I'm gonna let this grow a little bit longer then I'll put it in soil yeah sprouting already as well take a look that that's awesome and this one there's no roots yet growing some leaves down there but I took it off but you can see right there it's got that's gonna be roots right there so sprouting already as well you see that that's cool and this one right here I got I bought two but they gave me an extra one which is nice see that one on the right I took it off because it's producing uh, a fruit already you don't need fruits on that not yet still cutting you see all that that's gonna be roots growing right there yeah so maybe a couple of more weeks and we're ready to plant these guys so let's go ahead and just cover it up and we'll check back in a couple of weeks well I have this uh, fig tree here uh, it got smaller because it uh, actually froze during winter time but it's coming back again they keep on uh, sprouting new leaves as you guys can see but it kept on getting eaten either by uh, some sort of rodents either a mice or a rat or uh, I don't know but uh, what I did I put this um, screen right here it's uh, what one inch so hopefully they'll prevent anything from eating it again and so it'll produce leaves and branches and grow again so uh, not just like the other ones that I have around that actually uh, die had a die back during winter time so let's take a quick look at it but yeah this one's uh, hopefully with this protection it'll uh, grow instead of getting eaten again so let's take a look at the other ones here's one also in front uh, yeah I might have to uh, put a uh, chicken wire on it as well um, this one was kept on getting eaten as well right there in the bottom and yeah so I'm gonna have to put one on this one as well but uh, let me show you the other ones the other one looks great Here's a brown turkey. Look at all this uh, new growth. And uh, yeah, yeah die back again, but uh, yeah, got some new growth. Got some wildflowers here. Hopefully this will grow and have nice flowers so for pollination. So let's go to the other ones. Here's the black mission fig. Yeah, it used to be tall. 
a little bit taller but again die back you see that I cut it and new growth right here L looks nice I thought this was gonna die but yeah just keep on watering it and uh, took care of it and has new leaves so that's great there's the other one as well I believe this is a brown turkey uh, yeah die back again so as long as the roots are still okay yeah there's gonna be no problem there produce new growth and uh, new fig so that's great so let's go here on the other side right here this is also a brown turkey uh, where's the die back right there see how small that is all the way down except for the roots so got new leaves here so this is gonna produce a lot of uh, roots and new uh, fig trees so I guess there's a uh, something uh, good came out of it we're here in the back area sorry about the noise of the generator um, yeah right there that's where I cut well, it this is a little bit of uh, experiment of mine this is the kabocha seeds that I planted so it got pretty big but uh, uh, rodents are eating it so I made this little protection area I know it's tiny <laughs> it shouldn't be like that but it's just an experiment of mine and see how that works uh, I'm gonna let it climb up and climb out so we'll see uh, I got some kabocha there before now it's all gone because rodents ate it so anyway it is what it is just gotta deal with it and do something about it but we'll see how this one goes guys so make sure to subscribe so you guys will see the updates all right my wife planted these well we bought this uh what is it again celosia but guys we fell in love with these plants just look at the flowers you got the pink right here the orange another pink uh, red orange yellow pink and more reds and they I think they grow taller too right now it's still short but it's just spectacular it's so beautiful Hello. Beautiful. Orange, red, orange, pink, red, red, orange, yellow, uh, light pink, yellow, red. Red, red. I think we got all the colors, huh? Not yet. I don't know. This is going to be magenta. Oh, by the way, my wife bought this like little tub. She put a hole in it. Holes. Yeah, holes. And uh, you can carry it here. So it's kind of cool. Looks nice. Here comes the wind again. Uh, guys, maybe midsummer we're gonna do a full tour of our uh, food forest here, and you guys will see how pretty it has been for a short period of time. All right, guys, see you later. Look at that.
beautiful, beautiful sunset. Wow. It's right over the horizon. Normally, uh, the sunset goes down right there, but it's on the other side today. But it's spectacular, beautiful. Can't beat that.